Hey, what's going on everyone? Got the Super Neo 29 candy cabinet fired up again today. And uh, going to be playing a fantastic beat-em-up slash run-and-gun by Konami. Uh, and this one's really one of my favorite PCBs in my arcade PCB collection. If you're looking at this demo, you're probably already familiar with what this game is. And this one is Konami's Bucky O'Hare. I uh, can't say enough great things about this one. And a really cool YouTuber by the name of Ken6275 actually sent this out to me as a Christmas gift last year. And I'm uh, just getting around to doing a gameplay on it now, but like I said already, absolutely love this game. And yeah, thanks again, Ken. This was an awesome gift. It's the Super Duo 29 marquee all lit up. Yeah, I'll just set down the camera and let the demo run through it first. Love the demo in this one too. Alright, so let's start it up. And we'll go with Bucky O'Hare. A cinematic type of feel to this game with all the cutscenes before and after stages with the uh, spoken dialogue. How can they do such a thing? Just visually, just incredibly impressive. Attention all hands, battle stations. Let's croak some ponies. I still love this cartoon many, many years ago as a kid too, so got a lot of fond memories from the game, uh, as well as uh, the cartoon. I believe they got all the voice actors who uh, did the characters for this show to uh, participate in the arcade port. Yeah, you can jump off and kind of uh, jump kick attack like that, uh, your regular shot. I believe there's also, uh, there's like a melee kind of attack if you get up close to them, you can smack them. And I've got bombs as well. Like that one right there.
you've got all the uh, typical beat em up type elements in arcade beat em ups. You do to my people, as well alligator. As, uh, yeah, your gun, so... <laughs> Captain Bucko's fixing to fry your scales, Negator! Better talk! Ow! The, the furballs were taken to the planet park! <laughs> well, Dead Eye Duck 2, I actually put him on my, uh, channel banner, right there in the middle of it. Get me out of here! Yeah, it features some really cool uh, kind of scrolling in different angles um, type of stages. Uh, there's a flying stage uh, as well as one where you're riding around on a um, uh, hovercraft type of vehicle. Another Bucky over here game I really love is the one on the NES and the Famicom. I've got that one in my NES collection. Uh, actually put up a video of that a long time ago. It's a totally different game than this. It's kind of like a running jumbo, more of a platform type NES game. We gotta help the others too. But yeah, by far this is the best Bucky arcade game. But they ever created this uh, Konami arcade PCB. Yeah, that's right. 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 Yeah, due to like licensing issues and all of that, um, it never got any home console ports, or it's never really included on any like compilation type collections or uh, released on uh, Xbox Live Arcade or the PSN, which is unfortunate. Uh, Konami did release some of them, I believe, The Simpsons are on XBLA and PSN, and the uh, Ninja Turtles arcade game, another one of my favorites in my uh, PCB collection. That one used to be available on the PSN and the Xbox Live Arcade, but uh, yeah, I think uh, due to some licensing issues, it was eventually taken down, unfortunately. But, yeah, a lot of that PC. Oh. Super crisp visuals, a fantastic sound as well. Uh, this specific type of uh, Konami Arcade hardware always had really awesome sound in the games, great music, sound effects. Uh, Wild West Cowboys and New Mesa was another one on this type of hardware. Uh, the X Men Arcade game, um, several others. I believe the Asterix board was as well. Uh, Sunset Riders might have been too, I can't exactly remember. Yeah, just, oh man, just so many great arcade games from the 90s that Konami was putting out. Really, uh, for me, Capcom and Konami have got the most fond memories from uh, their arcade beat em ups. And, uh, yeah, pretty much my favorite genre, so. It's pretty awesome to have a lot of the games that I enjoyed uh, back in the arcades as a youngster, uh, now at my house. That's pretty tough. Uh, 
Uh, stage three, I believe this one's one of those uh, kind of you're kind of like on a jetpack hovering around. It's definitely pretty cool. Wow, take a look out there. That's a climate converter. Oh no, they're forcing the slaves to build one here too. They've gone too far. No fly-sucking, slimy, croaking piece of sludge toad is taking over Planet Punk. Maybe here's what we gotta do, and we gotta do it fast. Yeah, this stage is awesome. Board. I don't believe it was produced in um, the same amount of quantity as some of the other popular Konami arcade games. I mean, this one was pretty popular too, but it seems to be a bit more difficult to track down these days, a little bit more rare. And uh, I wonder if that's because, um, we'll go with Dead Eye Duck this time, uh, it was just produced in a bit more limited quantity, or uh, it's just such a cool game that, you know, home collectors aren't really willing to part with it. Probably a bit of both, I would imagine, I guess. I definitely don't remember the patterns of this. Yeah. Look at that large, detailed sprite right there. Really smooth animation to it as well. Oh, Blinky. 
Awesome visuals, gotta love that. But yeah, that's Bucky O'Hare. Well, we managed Konami. to stop the climate converter. You saved oh, us all, <laughs> Willie. Ah, oh, it was nothing. Bucky, I love got fixed from a distress signal. Good work, Jenny. What's that's awesome done? stuff. I feel this signal coming from the asteroid belt. Just a look at a couple of stages from the Bucky O'Hare arcade PCB by Konami. One of my favorites, and um, definitely if you're a home collector of PCBs, you got a cab, super gun, uh, what have you, uh, you'd be crazy not to pick this one up. I guarantee you'll love it. And uh, also, definitely try it out in Maine. That's how I had to play it for a while before I could track down the PCB. I had an old bio laptop hooked up to a CRT. I played this game quite a bit on that. It was pretty awesome to own the PCB and be able to play it on my Super Guns and uh, Neo Candy Cats. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed a little look at Bucky O'Hare, and I'll talk to you soon. Oh, bye for now. Oh yeah, I forgot if you uh, hold the jump and attack buttons together, you get a special shot like this one here, you see. Again, thanks so much for checking out the video, and I'll talk to you soon.